dear learners uh, this lecture is uh, related to the topic zymography uh, zymography is a method uh, which is very popular in enzymology uh, let us first understand what do we mean by zymography zymography is basically an electronic technique right which helps in it is an electronic technique okay and this technique is used for detection of enzymes right and the main method which is uh, used is the substrate of the enzyme is used for detection okay so right uh, uh, let us first uh, understand what zymography is zymography is an electrophoretic technique okay it is using electrophoresis what it is using for it is using for detection it is used for detection of enzymes and this detection is based upon substrate substrate of the enzyme so uh, this is the main thing which we are going to study in this lecture that what is zymography it is an electrophoretic technique which is used for the detection of the enzymes and this technique is basically the enzyme now we come to types of zymographies the types of zymographies are in gel zymography in situ zymography and in vivo zymography okay let's now start with the gel zymography or the in gel zymography now you see in gel zymography is basically dependent upon the uh, normal uh, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis technique only there are certain modifications so let us highlight the modifications uh, when uh, the page is used in for gel zymography first thing which is uh, very important is the use of non reducing buffers okay now the non reducing buffers are used for uh, a particular intention right what the intention is is that the enzyme which uh, we want to detect should be present in its native form that is it must remain active and for remaining active uh, the environment which is kept is of non reducing nature that is the first thing which is important then uh, the second thing is uh, when the sample is taken care of after that uh, the gel which is prepared uh, the polyacrylamide gel which uh, we prepare is added with the substrate of the enzyme okay and the substrate can be anything depending upon the type of enzyme which you want to detect like for example in this case uh, we are detecting protease so the substrate in this case which is added is either casein or it will be mm, gelatin right and then a normal electrophoresis process is completed after adding the sample after the electrophoresis is done the gel which you get is now called as a zymogram okay so it is called as a zymogram now this zymogram is then uh, treated with triton x to remove the sds pa sds which is added so sds is removed from the uh, zymogram by using triton x and then it is subsequently stained using either chromacy brilliant blue so after staining you will get uh, just we will stain the gel how it looks like and because it is Kumasi yeah. this is the gel how it will look like okay let us remove this uh, green patch and 
now we take after staining you will get a, a colorless band like this band like this right so what does this colorless band indicate this colorless band indicates that here is the position of the protein in your given sample where it is showing the activity of protease the enzyme which you want to detect right so this is a very simple demonstration of cell zymography where we are seeing the different modifications in normal polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis for detection of a very common enzyme protease okay now in uh, gel zymography the most uh, old enzyme which was detected by this technique was alpha amylase and everything remains the same only there was one change that the uh, gel was run normally and uh, after electrophoresis was done uh, you would receive bands of protein as per uh, your homogenate or the sample and now this was overlaid with another thin gel which contained starch in it this is a slight modification that instead of adding the substrate in the gel a separate thin gel is prepared and that starch gel is overlaid upon it like this is your first and this is your overlaid gel so if we mark this as one and the starch gel is so this is the second one and the below one is the gel okay it is incubated and after incubation you find a colorless zone after treating it with iodine you stain it with iodine again the same thing you will have uh, because iodine also stains uh, it blue in color so you will get a uh, a gel like this okay which is completely stained and wherever there is activity of amylase if it is present at the sample okay if it is present in the sample you will find a zone like this uh, Yeah, a patch like this will be seen which will help you to detect the position of the protein band containing the activity of amylase so this was another example uh, which uses zymographic technique for uh, the zymography okay the next is for gelatinases gelatinase is also same uh, let us just take an example over here that uh, this is the gel okay and in this gel now we will add gelatin because gelatin is the substrate so this is one more example where you can detect gelatinases by using this method okay and again the staining is with kumasi brilliant blue it is just like the previous method